what are you doing this for? I was getting so nervous that you weren't going to join. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't know people are watching you and you're going... I know, you forget, don't you, that you're on live and everyone can see you. It's joking at your eyebrows, at least you didn't spit on them and wipe your eyebrows. <laughs> I just got dead nervous. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I did have the hoodie on and then I thought we looked like clowns both wearing the hoodie at the same time. Yeah, true. We'd have looked like twins as well. You can't even tell this is England until you go to the side. I know, I did think that, but I did have it on and it was too... It was... I nearly got... I feel like I'm losing you. Oh no, you're back. You're back. Yeah, you make anything look cool though. I've got to put this on as my uniform. Are you back? Yeah. <laughs> if am I freezing? It looks like you're freezing. Is it? It's, I feel like it's you. It keeps like matter. twisting on yours. Oh well. Right. I've got some questions to ask you because I want to know like your story and stuff. So I want to know going forward. Are you looking forward to the women's Euros? Yeah. Are you? Hundred days to go. Isn't it? It's your Absolutely. first. Well, it would. It will be. Will be your first one, right? Yeah, that's yeah, literally, yeah, and it's home soil as well. <laughs> my first. Than that. My first Euros, I went to one camp before and then sat on the bench for the whole, for the whole tournament, <laughs> and the last we got knocked out after the um, group stages. We didn't get out of the group. Uh, yeah. The third game we played France, and Hope Powell was like. Right, she get ready. We were losing, and she put she watched what I sub me on. She went, get ready. <laughs> Ran, put me shinies on, pulled me socks up. Literally, I was full kit on the on the on the, the, the sideline with the subs board ready to go up. <laughs> and I was stood there, and the player just went past me, and France scored again. And she went, Lucy, sit down, and put somebody oh! else on. Instead. <laughs> and <laughs> it would have been so me. Crazy. It would have literally only been the second cap as well. Oh, that's so sad. They literally, the, like the next time the ball went out, I was going to come on and it was a goal. So I didn't come on. Where was this? Where was the Euros? Uh, the Swede at Sweden. Sweden. You just won youth Euros though, didn't you, at Swe in Sweden? Uh, we won it in Belarus. Was it? What was that, under yeah. 19? Yeah, yeah. And Real then man. we finished, and then we got silver in Macedonia. Yeah. That's for real. To be fair, we get to travel so much, don't we? You kind of forget what? the places you've actually been to. You played what? Do you do youth, youth Euros? Yeah, Youth Euros we played. Um, I think ours was in Norway, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm actually so excited for it to be on home soil. Just so that our families and that can come and it's less hassle for them to get flights, organise time off work. They can literally just drive the game, see us, go home, and then come back for the next one. Yeah, as long as they're all um, COVID-friendly. Oh, yeah, definitely. As, as long, long as, as that's, you can get fans as, long, as long as that's passed and done. Someone, someone asked me to ask you a question. How does it feel to play against club teammates on an international stage? But I'm thinking at the Euros... How many people will you play against that are your teammates? I don't feel like we'll play against many. But for you? Because uh, I mean, Scotland, yeah. Scotland haven't qualified. Scotland haven't qualified. And then we've only got English players. That... And then Americans, but obviously they're not going to be Yeah, there. Americans, but they're not going to be the Euros. Are we missing someone else? I feel like else? we'll play against like, opposition. Obviously, like Chelsea have got a lot of... like. Swedish, Norwegian. Yeah, but that's the same as like playing against them yeah. at Chelsea and City, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think Aslani. Aslani. Oh yeah, Aslani. Um yeah. I feel like that's it. Have you played with anyone else? You must have. Oh uh, yeah. Um like Pauline Bremer. Yeah, German. Uh, uh Tessa Wallach. Tessa. Is, yeah. Bel Belgium yeah, maybe... qualified. Yeah. 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 You fancy playing against any of them? Less than that. Yeah, we'll take them all on. We've got it. 
You can take them all on if you want to win. <laughs> no, see, I remember as Lani played the um, World Cup. Though she was, she was good in the World Cup. Yeah, she her. killed it. Yeah, she killed and it. There was she's... one of the games where she was in the ten, and she literally just bossed the game. And then she played against us as well in the in the bronze medal yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. How was your Euros when you went to Holland? I remember coming out and... You watching. came out and watched, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. came out and watched with a few of the girls. Uh, but what was that like? Tell me about that. Tell me how it's, like, different to a Euros than it is to, like, club competition or any other competition. To be fair, I think the Euros in Holland would probably be quite similar to England because both are quite small countries. And in Holland, we stayed in that one place the entire time where you can yeah. visit us. Whereas fair, in France... Nice yeah, it was a good place. It was like a mini, like, training centre, wasn't it? But yeah. Yeah. In France, when you come to the World Cup, we went all over the place, didn't we? Yeah. And you're constantly moving, whereas in England, what, well, maybe we'll be, like, staying in one place and then travelling, because, what, the furthest game, it's like Old Trafford, then you've got Brighton's quite far, but, it, again, it's not, it's not that bad, is it, really? Yeah. The furthest you would probably go is either, like, Brighton to maybe, like, the North East. But even then, North East is, it's what, Sheff- Sheffield? What, is that the height? Are we not going north, north, east? No. No, we're not. What's the, what's the highest north we're going? Sheffield? Sheffield? Or Old Trafford? Manchester. Which one's that? No, well, Sheffield's more north, east. Manchester's north, west. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. Wish, we, wish we was going to Barrow. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> get, all, get all the stanways in the stadium. <laughs> You'll be pointing, you'd be pointing out the crowd. There's, there's me, there's me mate that used to clip me my dog's toenails. There's him that <laughs> used to pick his nose at school. He'd be picking them all out like that. Got a story for everyone, haven't you? <laughs> what's your, what's your favourite moment as a lioness been so far? Um, I think I've got a few. I think my debut. Just like, it's something that you've worked for as a kid. Like, there's nothing better than pulling on the shirt for the first time, making your debut. Um, I got lucky enough to score on my debut as well, so that kind of, like, put the cherry on the, t- on the top. Um, but no, I, I scored on my debut. Did you? But it got called offside because somebody else was offside. <laughs> Needy <laughs> bar. But, I mean, on? I think they, they was technically offside, but they didn't touch the ball, but they did skew the... So like they was off. Position. Yeah, or summer. They was offside, but it was. I would have scored otherwise on my debut. What was your goal like? Like a header I'm, off I'm a guess, free kick. I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Corner or free kick comes in, drop down. Lucy Brown's on the end of it. Yeah, it was. I think it was a header. I think a loop. It's like a loop and header. It was against Japan as well, so I think I was quite a bit taller than a few of them. Yeah. But it was like yeah. a. I think it was like a loop and header, like back across the goal or something. And it was to it was to beat them, and uh, Japan had just won like the World Cup or some or the Olympics at the time. Oh, so you'd have won as well. Or did you end up drawing? We end, I think we end up. Did we end up drawing? Don't even remember. It was it was a long time ago. <laughs> this was it was just before the Euros, so it was two thousand two thousand thirteen. Wow, feels yeah. like years ago. That doesn't it. It is years ago. I know, but you forget because time actually goes so quick when you're playing. Because you're so focused on the next game, you can't even, like, you forget the seasons before. Like, when someone says to me, oh, like, do you remember this game? And I'm like, are you actually having a Scooby-Doo? Don't remember most of the games that you played then? Yeah, some of them, some of them. But I don't remember, like, I'm the worst at remembering, like, score lines or, like, people that have played or the players that were on the pitch. I'm the worst at remember that. I'll just like I'm good at remembering funny moments that happen. No. So say something happens on the pitch that entertains me, or Why something am I not like surprised? something that's like dramatic. Or, someone like, fell over. Yeah, someone fell over. I remember that. So, oh, I remember that. Oh, their boots falling off. No, I. I was roommates with Farah Williams, 2015 yeah. World Cup, and that girl remembers everything, <laughs> and I had to make sure I remembered everything. And Mo Marley's like that as well. Did you not have Mo Marley as a coach when you were younger? Yeah, I had, yeah. And she remembers everything. everything. She's got like the fact book of everything. Literally, you say your date to her and she'll reel off everything that happened in that 90 minutes. Yeah. It's crazy. 
It's crazy. What? But yeah, to your question that you said before, I'd definitely say the World Cup as well. I think that was just like an overall unbelievable experience. Like to get picked, to experience the whole like pre-camp, getting ready to go, actually getting there. And then obviously like just the games in itself were crazy. Like your goal, I remember going absolutely skits on the bench. I remember running out. Like there was a few of us running out basically on the pitch ready for you to come and high five us. But just like those are the moments that you remember, like the memories um, that last with you like for a lifetime. It's going to be uh, Euros in England. You're going to be stuck in the hotel though. How are you going to manage with that? I know, that is true. That is true. But we'll just Can't go out. You'll like... be, like, be getting snapped by all the paparazzi. <laughs> no, England, really England players go out for a cup of coffee and they're meant to have a game. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be you oh. be England players skateboarding around uh, the stadium or something that'll be you rollerblading or something Heelys <laughs> <Heelys. laughs> so just stand my caught on a Heelys <laughs> I absolutely loved my Heelys as well when I was younger I remember one, one funny story is I actually got kicked out of Asda once and the people had to come and like get my mum and be like right she needs to like go sit in the car so I had to go and sit back in the car with my Healy's on, wait for my mum to finish the weekly shop. <laughs> that do not surprise me. I was gutted. I was gutted. Right. What do you think? They ask you some normal questions. What are your expectations of the tournament following on from 2019 in the World Cup? Uh, like, what's your expectations? Like, what can the fans and what can the players expect from 2022? I think the biggest thing that they can expect is like the passion and the heart of the game. Um, we play football because we love it. Um, it's literally like our passion. It's our life. It's we literally we do it every day. Um, we choose to do it, so that must mean we like it. Um, what's your what's your expectations for you? For me, I want to get selected. That's right. That's the aim. Um, and play. That's another aim. And I'd love to score at a major tournament. What position um, do you want to play? Did you not you didn't score in the World Cup, yeah? No, right, so I was so close to scoring. Do you remember the Japan game? And we'd yeah. done this like specific set piece that come to the edge of the box. Yeah. And then I hit it so nice. And the Japan keeper pulled off a worldie and I remember being absolutely devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking she's just ruined me whole lifetime goal, yeah. <laughs> That's scoring the next one then, isn't it? I know, so that's what I've got to do. I've got to score in the Euros. Um, and yeah, I just want to be a part of it. I want to obviously win it. I think there'd be no better feeling than lifting it, being at home and lifting it. Obviously, I'm guessing the final will be at Wembley. So we've yeah, got, so many, we've the, got the so semi, many good memories. I think the semi final and the finals at Wembley. Unreal, Both that. Semi-finals. Unreal. So, like, we can't complain about the pitch, we can't complain about the weather. <laughs> it'll be hot. So, yeah, it'll, it'll probably be hot. Be hot. It'll be hot. All the fans will be in the pubs with the with the pints <laughs> and everything on the big screen. Wembley sold out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's like. Do you remember when we played Germany? Uh, you weren't there. You was injured. Oh no, you were there. No, I was you at there. Germany. You was yeah. there. Um, when we played at Wembley and the stadium was packed out, and that was we want that at every single game. Like, the atmosphere, the people cheering, like, singing England songs. Everybody had their England shirt on. The sun was out. Like you said, pints in their hand. A big one of them big foam fingers in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, we need all that. We need the whole stadium doing Mexican wave. No, get get away from the Mexican wave. We'll have the band in the... We'll have the England yeah. band in the corner singing all baby songs. We'll shots. have the England band on the drums. <laughs> If the England one don't want to come, we can get the Manchester City Supporters Club there. <laughs> and that's not going to be biased. Yeah. They'll be absolutely loving it, won't they? Yeah, uh, Do you know Apart what, Apart from uh, that... opening games at Old Trafford, though, isn't it? Is it? I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know we're that. We're meant to be... We're meant to be playing at Old Trafford. Yeah. Do you know what, bet- though? If all the crowd are dead loud... I'll still be able to hear your mum. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> be able to see her as well with some t-shirt with Lucy written across it. <laughs> she's like swinging it around her head. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm she's not on here already to trying to write something. <laughs> yeah, I, see, I swear she's asked you a question already. <laughs> <laughs> she has to join in the conversation. Right, I've got a question for you. 
Go what on. is your favourite moment or experience in playing for England? Uh, the World Cup in Canada, probably. That was my... Because I didn't play at the Euros before in 2013. I didn't really get on the pitch, so I didn't have the same experience as, as other people. Uh, and then Canada was the first one I got on, on the pitch at the major tournament. And it was the first time I actually played. I'd been in England squad for two years beforehand. And in yeah. Canada was the first time I actually played right back. Because I'd been playing centre-half. Yeah. Or I'd played left back, I'd played centre-half. And then in Canada was the first time that I actually took uh, took the spot off Alex Scott. Um, you killed it as well. And then, yeah, scored two goals. Uh, we did the best we've ever done. Yeah, it was crazy. I remember that whole... watching that. This will make you feel old, but I was in high school um, watching that. I remember, <laughs> I think I was in year 11, actually, because I remember being, like, sitting in my GCSEs at the same time you were playing in the 2015 World Cup. And I remember, like, begging my mum to be like, please let me stay up. Or, like, at times I used to go to sleep for, say, like, four hours, then set my alarm to wake me up so I could watch the game. And then I'd go back to sleep after the game. Do you know that that, that tournament, uh, a tea, you know, a goggle box on Channel 4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted to do a goggle box at my mum's house. Oh, that would have been so good. Watch the game. That would be funny if they did that next year. They should do like a lioness's goggle box with all the families in, that, in the bed, in the, um, what's it called, in the living room. That would be, so be so fun. clever. Yeah, that would be so clever. My I think some people's parents might have to get bleeped out. And I was going to say, my family would all just be bleeped out. There wouldn't be anything said. Yeah. You would have all, all dogs and everything on, on the screen. <laughs> right, I've got another question. How did you feel when they said that the Euros was going to be in England? Um, yeah, I think buzzing as well. I think all the other tournaments where the fans have come, like it's been sick, but when we play in England and get all the English fans like I remember in France I know France is obviously closer to England than it is to America but the fact that they had all it, do you remember the semi-final and they had all the yeah. fans in the stadium yeah. it was crazy and, and Canada was the same because we played Canada in the quarter-final the, the stadium was full of Canadian fans and was just like I remember Christine Sinclair was trying to do a speech or something before the game I was trying to talk on the mic or something and she must have been stood about three metres away from me, and I couldn't even hear her. I couldn't hear her on the thing, and I couldn't hear loud. her. just stood there because everyone was just screaming for her. So that's just think, I just remember the Canada one thinking, yeah, I want to, I want to do that. That's the, I think that's the... And then Holland as well. We played Holland. They yeah, was the host of the last year. I, I remember that because obviously I was there, and I remember it. I remember, like, the massive crowd of, like, orange fans, like, all in their orange strips like flags, hats, all sorts, like literally following the team bus or they'd literally have like a walk, wouldn't they? So like they'd start at a certain point and then the whole of the Holland fans would walk to the stadium together and it just looked unreal. I remember thinking like, please like let us experience that. I can, Well, I remember like when we drove to that semi-final, it was like just orange people everywhere. I think I took a video of it somewhere and we yeah. literally were try, we were trying to get through like to the game and it was just all these fans they weren't doing anything they're not like rocking the yeah. bus or anything like the yeah. mad hooligan but, <laughs> oh, there was <laughs> just, uh... great luck that was oh, yeah. that was i filmed that on the bus it's mad that isn't it look at that's in front of the bus it's mad isn't it that's just what you see, though, isn't it? Like, even if I see a little bit of that, or if they're in, like, red and white shirts, I'm like, just gives me that little bit of, like, fire. I don't know why, but sometimes I actually think I'd actually love to be in that crowd. Yeah, if well, to, even if when we watch, like... a football game, I'd want to be in that crowd. Well, I, that was... Because the, the men's Euros, isn't it? It was where um, the finals meant to be at Wembley this year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What, I think it's meant might all be at England, but... I remember before COVID, I was thinking, I want to go to that game, I want to sit in the crowd, it'd be so sick. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Right, so I've got a question here. It says, we've got two. What are you looking forward to the most about the Euro 2020? What am I looking forward to? 
I'm just uh, going to revert back to what we just said then and just seeing the fans. Yeah. Literally seeing everybody there. Like, I want my family to be in that massive crowd of people. I want them to be leading the way. Like, get everyone's family in there. I even think just, like, having a tournament again. Like... Yeah. You go from, like, Euros and World Cup, I just think my last kind of six, no, even longer than that, like, eight, eight nine years with England... It's constantly in the summer you look forward to this big tournament. And obviously we missed out on it last year. I know the Olympics is coming this is coming up this year, which is something I've never been to. It's completely different, but Euros I already know what it's like. Like even though you haven't been to a Euros, you still know what the the youth level ones are like. Yeah, uh, and even they're mega. Yeah, and like I've just missed I've just missed tournament football because we've not had anything since the World Cup and that was yeah. like not disappointing, but it was kind of like so gutting that we was we were so close. Yeah, we've actually got such a good team. Because we got so far and we'd literally like we was there for the longest time, but then we still didn't come away with what we wanted to. Forward to the uh, uh, the Euros being like so close after the after the Olympic after after the World Cup. And then it's been yeah. pushed back. So now we're like waiting even longer. But hopefully that just makes it better. Yeah, definitely. Makes the wait longer. Hopefully everything will now be perfect. We can have all the all the pitches perfect, all the training, all the hotels. Make sure everybody's in the best <sighs> prime position. I'm laughing because someone's broke. The US <laughs> women's national team is superior. Because they don't play in the Euros, so that don't, don't matter. <laughs> That is funny. That right, is funny. let's get on some different questions, right? Fun right. fun team questions. Here's a, here's a first one, right? <laughs> oh, this is not really that fun, but who did you learn the most? It's still quite serious. Who did you learn the most from on your team? Is that maybe is it England or a City? Probably quite similar players in both the anyway. Do you know what? Carly Lloyd. <laughs> That's what you're going to say, isn't that? No, I was actually going to compliment you. I thought you were going to say Carly Lloyd. No, well, I did really I did really look up to Carly Lloyd. Um, and I, I, to be fair, there's loads of players. I remember joining City, I was 16 at the time, and it was literally straight after you'd done the Canada 2015. So I remember, like, literally being absolutely terrified going in. Um, I was literally facing my idols. Oh, we've got a little intruder. Do you want to see him? Is it Ollie? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Marlo. Say hi. Get down. Marlo, who's that? It's Lucy. Marlo. It's Lucy. Stop, it strangled him. <laughs> right, I've kicked him out now. Um, right, so the... My... I've lost my trail of thought now. Uh, Learned the most from. Learned the most from. Yeah, so I'm going to say you. I think... Especially since you've come back, obviously before Leon, you was an unbelievable player. Everybody knew that, and before, and obviously I got the opportunity to play with you at City while you was at Leon. But I think the the difference that I've seen in years like massively spurred me on because I know how much like you work hard, how much you train, how much you put into everything that you do, and that's just given me that little extra percent. And like everything I do now, I make sure that I do it with intent, which is your like mentality. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely learned that off you. Um, but, yeah, hopefully... Um... I've learned how to, um, how to two-foot people off you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> how to shoot more. Yeah, you, shooting's unreal. How many, have you scored for City yet this season? Twice. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Twice. Do you know what one was unreal when you did that mazy run from the um, corner counter-attack? Bristol at home. It was an unreal goal, that. But I need at least five from you this season. How many have you scored? In all competitions, ten. In WSL? I don't know WSL. I want to say, like, five or six. What were the other ones, then? Like... Champions League, FA Cup. Um... The League Cup. The Conti... What's it called? Yeah, Conti Cup. Yeah, Conti Cup. Conti Cup. Yeah, right. so that being... Who oh, is who's the funniest on the team? On England um, team, the England team. Um, I think straight away, 
Everyone says Jill. I'm go- yeah, everyone says everyone says Jill, and I find Jill really, really funny. Um, I was going to say, I don't find Jill funny. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do. But I'm going to move away, and I'm going to go Kira. Um, when me and Kira are together, somehow we just end up making jokes out of everything and taking the mick out of people and winding people up. Um, I think Jill's I think funny like a, as a clown, isn't she? Yeah, Jill's like a class clown. Like if you if you need a laugh, like you're guaranteed to get a laugh off Jill. Or like oh, if you want, if you want a bit more dark like humour, if you want dark humour yeah. and a bit harsher, yeah. it's you and Kira. Yeah. If you want to be a bit more brutal and ruthless, <laughs> then <laughs> come to me. If you want to be a bit more honest. Yeah, we'll honest but funny. Out of your hand. <laughs> yeah. If you can't make a joke, if you can't laugh at yourself, <laughs> don't talk to you to. Oh no, I think people go a bit mad because um, I tend to get the immature side out of Kira and I end up making her more childish um so I think people get annoyed at that but we just we just end up laughing at everything someone said what's Kira's funniest joke though what's Kira's funniest joke oh I think it's more just taking taking the mic out of people like an impression of someone yeah Yeah. like an impression or like taking the mic out of herself um just like dead and light-hearted like you don't take yourself too seriously. Like you can take the mick out of yourself, and yeah, it just for some reason one thing after another it escalates, and then it's just hilarious, and you end up laughing for ages, and then you end up laughing for no reason. <laughs> who is who is the DJ on your national team in England? What our the national DJ. team? I think it's it's either Alex or Leah. I thought it was Leah. Yeah, yeah. I think Alex is at six. I remember. Um... At the World Cup, Leah had a she had yeah, the mixing decks, didn't she? As well. Yeah, I shared a room with her. We stayed in a hotel oh, yeah. at Brighton, um, and I shared a room with her. And I remember coming back in the room. Um, I think we'd we'd been like maybe out for food or something, and I come back in the room, and Leah was just sat on the room with like the headphones in on the DJ deck. I'm thinking, where on earth did you got that from? They've soon gone missing, though. I'm sure she's not brought them back again. I know, true. She definitely gave up after that camp. Yeah, I think some, made I think kit, made the kit man carry it all the way around France. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon Kira probably took the mick out of her and then she stopped bringing them. Yeah, yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. To be fair, she wasn't the best on them disco decks. <laughs> I wouldn't know. She, just, she has good music, but I'm not, I didn't see yeah. the, uh, any of the mixing. Yeah, she has very good music taste, but we'll leave the mixing for another day. It says, who on the team is most likely to win a, a dance competition? A dance competition? Don't say I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm going to have to just say you. <laughs> yeah, because the amount, of t- the amount of TikToks and that you know. That shows how bad our team is. Yeah, I don't think anybody can dance, I'm not going to lie. But you're unreal at dancing TikToks. Are you back? back? Yes, we're back. I said, everybody's the worst at dancing. Nobody's got any rhythm. Right, who's the worst? Who's the worst then? Jill's awful. Jill's a baddie, but at least she tries. I'll give it that. Yeah, she's tries. She's so stiff. She's got got confidence. Yeah. I'll give her that. that. Steph's just just like the one hand. Steph's just like, got a little like... One hand and and the foot tap. Nothing else moves, just the hand. <laughs> but Chloe, and, Cl- Chloe and Kira's got a bit of a... They like a bit of dance hall, don't they? Yeah, they do, they do. Yeah, they not can a, move not a bit of you. <laughs> no, I'm the stiffest as well. I'm stiff, but I try so hard. <laughs> that Ellen White. <laughs> that's Ellen oh. White. Yeah, to be fair, I've never even seen Ellen White dance, so that says it all. I don't know who else. Who else even? Jordan's just like. Jordan will give it beans. To be fair, Demi's Demi's alright. Demi's got rhythm. Yeah, Demi's got rhythm. Tell you who's not got Roebuck. <laughs> wow, I've never seen someone two step like that as much in my life. I thought you were going to say Roebuck's the funniest on the team as well. Before all the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all them jokes. 
Someone asked, is Steph funny? What is Steph saying? funny? Funny looking. <laughs> that, that, that's a no if you've not said yet. If you don't answer straight away, that's a no. <laughs> no, she is, she is, she is. I like, we like taking the mick out of Steph. She's a, yeah, Steph's the light-hearted she joke, isn't it. she? Yeah, she can take it and she ends up in our like dark humour, so it's quite entertaining. She likes to take the mick out of Roebuck. Um, and then Robux just cowers in the corner, like doesn't want to, doesn't want the mic taken out of her anymore. And then she walks off because she's had enough. Right, I I don't have um I don't have any more questions unless you do. No, I don't. Uh, I don't. But if anyone watching wants to ask any questions quickly, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a question. One. Someone write, hey. How about the Americans? What I don't, I don't know about Americans. What's it like to about play that? with Sam? What's it like to play with Sam, Rose, and Abby? That's more about a, like a city question, isn't it? Yeah, someone's put it. Yeah, Lauren's definitely the best singer. I feel like we forget about her TikToks. Lauren Hemp. Yeah. Hempo. Hey, she's a baddie on them TikToks. Yeah. I don't is. know if that's a good <laughs> thing or a bad thing, but again, hey, I'll give it to the girl because she she gives it. She tries. <laughs> There's some terrible, terrible acting on there. <laughs> she she gives it a go, though, to be fair to her. <laughs> right here, what is your pre-game meal? So what do you have before every game? I, I don't have nothing. Like Not that I don't eat. I don't I don't care what I eat. Uh, no superstition? Not superstition. No, I don't have a single superstition. Like, nothing. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I think... Imagine if one day you don't do that, right? Are you going to stress out? Yeah, true. So, like, what true. do you like? What do you eat before the game? Beans on toast or something? Yeah, but I think that's just like habit for me. Like, I don't actually mind eating other things. Like, I don't really, I don't have any superstitions because I'm a bit like you. I'm like, if something goes wrong, it's not the end of the world. Like, no matter what boot I put on first, is not going to affect how I play? Yeah, no. But I do like two pieces of toast and some beans on the side. Beans on the side, so I can put some <laughs> butter on my toast. Is that right? Yeah, but, yeah, butter on your toast, and then you eat the beans first, then you eat the crust of the toast, and then you eat the middle of the toast. That's hard. strange, strange child. <laughs> right, someone's asked. I'm guessing it's about the Euros. Who will be the toughest opponent in the the Euros next year? Stroke. Oh. Get that beard. Stroke. I know. Stroke. I think. I think straight away. I just. Like, in my head comes Germany. Gone for the classic. Yeah, but I think it's just because they're all, they've always been unreal, haven't they? Like, yeah. we always, we always they have actually, a um, tough competition. They got beat by Holland uh, last last week, the week before. Oh, really? They got, yeah, they got beat by Holland. It was a friendly, but, yeah. Yeah. I think Holland yeah. is, I think everyone, I think everyone maybe has underestimated Holland a little bit, even though they yeah. are, like, the guys that the like yeah. the reign and champions or what have you just falls on Germany yeah. and France. Everyone goes, oh Germany, France. But uh, I think um, Sweden always are, are pretty good. Yeah, they are. They are because they're all they're so like powerful and physical, and sometimes they are like toughest opposition. Someone, um... someone's put who's who's the loudest in the England team. The loudest. Um, in volume, in volume of speech, who's the loudest? I don't actually know. Who have you got in your head? If you don't know, it means it's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I am quite loud. <laughs> the me, loudest in, ha- in the decibels? Yeah, in decibels it's me, but just because. I'm probably shouting now as well. I don't know why, but whenever I'm like answering a question in a meeting or I'm on like an interview or I'm on like a live like this, for some reason I just shout all the time. Just, uh, and just I, relax. I don't know why. I know, I just need to chill and just be like, just answer the questions, they're cool like you and just be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that again. <laughs> but yeah, I think the loudest though, I think it's someone like Jill. Yeah, it must be like Jill. To be fair, Carly Telford's loud. Yeah. And Carly can talk, by the way. Millie, uh, Millie and Rach. Oh, yeah. 100%. Daily brightness. 
Yeah, them two together are the loudest. Yeah. Yeah. The loudest. One country you think could surprise at the Euros. Surprise. Surprise. Um. Probably somebody that you'd maybe like. I don't think this is a surprise. I don't think this is a surprise, but I don't think people talk about Spain as like winning stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't think people would be surprised if they won it, but I think equally they would just because, I don't know, they they kind of, they always get talked about being really, really good, yeah. but never about, oh, Spain are going to be in the final. But it's yeah. it's strange because they've got, like, a talent. You know what, like, you know we didn't mention I... them. Like, we didn't say Spain no, before. Didn't, no, we didn't. Do you know who I um, I would have said, which I'm, I've got if they've not qualified, but I'd have probably said Scotland. Yeah, I was surprised. They did, really uh... well, they did really well at the Olympics as well. Like, even against us, it was like dog eat dog, weren't it? It was just like like a battle. World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Right, should we do one more? Right, one more. Pick a good and then you pick because I've picked them all. Right, I've got one here. Who was your inspiration growing up? I thought he was going to pick a dead good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, inspiration growing up. Like a footballer. Not no. anyone. So who inspires you to like either be who you are or the footballer you are, the person you are, your lifestyle, who's like been the most part of your journey? Do you know, I think I can name your inspirational footballer, Alan Shearer. Then in women's <laughs> football, you went Tony Duggan, Carly Lloyd, Marazan. Yeah, Marazan, unbelievable Marazan. footballer. Unbelievable. Jennifer Marazan. I've still got, I've got her shirt next door, actually, from uh, when we played them. I think you got me it when we played them in the Champions yeah. League semis. Probably. Um, yeah. Yeah, she, mine... Oh, um, I didn't watch loads of football when I was growing up. I liked all like athletics and that. I liked Kelly oh, yeah. Holmes. Yeah. Him, Kelly Holmes. Uh, like Paul, like Paula Radcliffe. They was the ones that was. I watched athletics like the Olympics and that. Yeah, yeah. True, true. Do you know who played a massive part as well? Our families. Yeah, my mum. Like even just like because obviously you're from like a similar area to me, where it's like in the middle of nowhere. You've got to have like your family's commitment to be able to take you to training and bring you back, and like their sacrifices, like that, that they massively helped us. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, probably my my mum done more for me than anybody else. Like England and everything, my mum's definitely done the most for me. Yeah, right. One more question off my own back. One, give someone one person. No, sorry, I can't even speak. Give one, like, advice or a, a tip for the people that are listening. Like, what's what can they do? Well, you said sense. it before, innit? I think uh, hard work. Do everything with intent. Intensity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that sticks with me now. So whatever I do in the gym, when I'm eating, when I'm walking up the stairs. Do yeah, intent. I think, like, this is, there's loads of people with loads of different talent, but how many of them, like, like Carly Lloyd. Carly Lloyd's like philosophy is like working harder than like the person next to her. Right. And look what she achieved with that. Uh Definitely. not bad. So Definitely. I think I think that's for for anyone in anything that you do, you've just gotta work hard. You Agreed. see always answer these questions. <laughs> believe in yourself, yeah. Everyone's answering it for me. Yeah, believe in yourself. I'd say enjoy it as well. So, like, whatever you do, make sure you do it, like, with a smile and you'll get more out of it when you enjoy it. Yeah, agreed. Can we see Nala? Is Nala there? She's asleep downstairs. Oh, she's asleep. You'll have to get onto her Instagram page, at Nala Bronze. Right, love. Oh, you've got the, um... Shall I see if I could see who's on watching us? <laughs> Can you see it? Must be some of our teammates. You can't add people, though. Oh, well. Oh, well. Right, we'll leave these lovely people. Wait, last one. This one's a good one for you. Yeah. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> <laughs> I can only just speak English. There's somebody no, give, in this... give us some There's Spanish. Somebody... <laughs> There's somebody in this that keeps asking what my accent is. 
Um, but my accent's a little bit everywhere. But I'm actually from Barrow and Furness in the Lake District. Um, look it up, it's an unbelievable holiday destination. <laughs> um, right, yeah, give I, us... speak, I speak English. But give us a word in Spanish down, before we leave. <laughs> during lockdown, I took, took, took a Spanish course. So, hola, mi amo Georgia. <laughs> right, tell everyone, thanks. Gracias. Thanks. Gracias, Thanks amiga. for your time. <laughs> See I you can't, later. I can't, you say Euros French. next year. You say it in French. Um, merci beaucoup. A bientôt. <laughs> a la prochaine. <laughs> you don't even understand. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you're saying. <laughs> okay, 100 days to the Euros, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yep. thanks, thanks for the for chat, listening. Georgia. I'll see yeah. you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in training. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye.